Today is Sunday, 24th of October, 2021. With Pastor Chris teaching, our topic for today is praying for the sick. Our theme scripture is taken from Luke 13, verse 16, and it says, And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound, lo, these eighteen years be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? Hallelujah. In praying for the sick to get well, there are certain truths to be mindful of. Pastor begins. Otherwise, you may pray from sun up to sun down with little or no impact. First, Pastor says, recognize that God wants them well. He isn't the one responsible for the sickness. Some believe God uses sickness to carry out his plan or to correct his children. Pastor said that's a lie from the pit of hell. No sickness or disease is from God. Secondly, does that sick person want to be well? Oh, this would be an important question to answer. Jesus asked certain folks in the Bible who apparently were in distressing health situation this simple question. What do you want? So, it's important the person is willing and ready to get well and that there's mutual faith. Thirdly, Pastor says, be in tune with the Spirit. Thirdly, Pastor says, be in tune with the Spirit. The Holy Spirit can guide you to know whether or not a demon is responsible for that sickness or disease. That way, you are able to deal with the situation. For example, the woman that was bowed over in Luke 13, Jesus showed how Satan was responsible for Jesus showed how Satan was responsible for her infirmity. The moment Jesus cast the devil out, the woman was healed. Glory to God. So pastor says, never be afraid of demons or evil spirits. The name of Jesus is greater than all. We cast out evil spirits with words as Jesus did. Praise God. In Matthew 10 verse 8, Luke 9 2, Luke 10 verse 9, Jesus charged the disciples to heal the sick and he didn't ask them to pray to him or to the Father to heal the sick. Evidently, we have authority from Jesus to heal the sick and bring health and joy to a dying world. So, Pastor says in conclusion, be bold about it. Oh, glory to God. And thank you, Father, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a confession now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me. I've been given the authority in the name of Jesus to heal the sick and cast out devils. I'm yielded completely to the Holy Spirit and I'm filled with the knowledge of God's will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding in dealing with every situation hallelujah all right for further study please read luke 9 verses 1 to 2 and then matthew 10 verse 8 of the niv says heal the sick raise the dead cleanse those who have leprosy drive out demons freely you have received freely give hallelujah besides Healing the sick and casting out devils are some of the signs that follow believers in Christ. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. 
from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. You're free. It's an epoch-making global healing program. The biggest healing services on the planet. Get ready for the Healing Streams live healing services with the man of God, Pastor Chris. Come Friday, 29, to Sunday, 31, October 2021. Register now to participate at www.healingstreams.tv slash three days. For more details, please call plus...